Let me tell you what this is like. This is like someone just randomly approached me on the street with a piece of steak. Now, just threw it at me. They slapped me with a piece of steak and said, here we go, grab that, here's some chips, but make it Vietnamese. Juicy cubes of steak, marinated Vietnamese style and seared to absolute perfection, then served with hot chips. <laughs> this is more look like Vietnamese shaking beef. Stir fries are a convenient way to get dinner on the table with minimal effort and maximum flavour. Today, I'll be sharing with you one of my favourite all-time stir fry recipes. But it's a special recipe, one that I believe is one of the best beer snacks going round. In Vietnam, this dish can be categorised under Đồ Nhau, food that pairs well with beer. Let's put the E's in Vietnamese. Let's start with the beef. Today I've got some beautiful scotch fillets that I've just cut up. But you could use any cut of steak that you prefer. But let's marinate it. Very easy, very simple. Garlic. Some soy sauce. Dark soy sauce and that will just help with the colour and the caramelisation. Oyster sauce for some umami. Anchovy salt, and this is my secret ingredient. It's an MSG substitute. So, a little sprinkle of that. Oh, it's that magic dust. A bit of cooking wine. Bit of salt. And sugar with my KFC spoon. Give that a good mix. A bit of oil, just to help it along. Give that a good mix. All right, that's it. Let that sit and marinate for at least an hour, but for best results, let it nap in the fridge overnight. It's time for my favorite part, stir frying. I've mentioned this before in my crispy abalone noodles recipe. You've got to be zippy. You've got to be Chef Speedy Gonzalez. So here we go. Wok or pan on. I prefer pans because with woks, and domestic kitchens, it can't warm up the entire wok. So I prefer a nice copper pan for this task. That pan is searing hot. In with some oil. Beautiful there. Straighten with the garlic, don't let it burn. Okay, garlic and oil pretty much need to go in at the same time. Beautiful. Once that starts to get fragrant, perfect. Put your onions in, toss it around. Lovely. Capsicums in. Toss it around. We're just going to cook that quickly, just to cook it through a touch. You still want them crispy though. And then we're going to remove it and work on the beef. It's getting this nice, sweet, charry flavour now. While that's going there, I might prepare the dish for plating up. So we're going to plate up on a garden of leafy greens, tomato and, and, and sliced cucumber. Nice texture there. So it just goes straight on there like so. Beautiful, look at that. Gorgeous colours. And the trick is to put lots of the leafy greens in the middle. Almost forgot, a touch of salt. That's almost there, maybe another 20 seconds. Finish this on there. We'll take this off now. Beautiful, that's right there, right where I want it. Oh yeah, get in there. Look at that charry flavour. Okay, don't do this at home. Perfect. Put that to the side, do a switcheroo. Oil. Beautiful, let that heat up. Get that nice and hot, really hot, borderline, right at smoking point, okay? So max heat, I've been searing it at maximum flame. It smells fantastic. You can actually do it in big batches as well. 
portion it out, freeze it, and whenever you feel like what look like a Vietnamese shaking beef, you just defrost it the night before. All right, that's smoking. You can see it straight in. Don't joke around. Beautiful. We're gonna get some flames here. I can feel it. And because it's a steak, you, 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 you've spent your money on a primary cut. You don't want to cook it too long. You want to cut it to see it just see it on the outside and be around medium to medium rare. I actually prefer medium for this dish, but you cook it to your preference. All right, let's just quickly check our seasoning. So you can just grab the back of the spoon. Mmm. Now that's good. That's real good. Mmm. Beautiful. You can see here, even though I've got the pan quite crowded, I haven't got too much you know, juice in there. It hasn't bled through, which means I've done a good job keeping and maintaining that heat and agitating the beef around the pan the entire time. All right, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop a knob of button there because we're feeling nice and decadent today. So you can see this is quite a rich dish, okay? A dish actually with strong French influence because the French did introduce beef, butter to the, Viet to the Vietnamese and uh, we've kind of taken it and put on our, our own spin in it. A bit of a Vietnamese remix for a French classic. Look at that. So this is like Vietnamese steak fritz essentially. Lovely, okay. So if you don't want it saucy, because we are serving this with chips. You can see here, as soon as I put that butter in, we're getting like this decadent gravy forming here. And that's gonna be like this super umami sauce that you can dip your chips into. Mm. Okay, beautiful. But if you don't want that sauce, you want it more on the dry side, just leave the, 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 the butter out. All right, that's pretty good there now. Wanna return our veg. And just stir that through now, because that's pretty much done. That is loaded, isn't it? <laughs> Get all that flavour in there. Get it into the nooks and crannies of the wedges of onion, the capsicum. And that beef should still be nice and tender and soft. Don't want to overcook that. We don't, that, we don't want them turning into Yokohama tyres, do we? All right, that's pretty good. Let's turn that off. It's our plate with flying tomatoes. Beautiful. That is just a thing of beauty, isn't it? That's loaded. Get this nice and presentable. Look at that mountain of beef. That's wiped the bench a bit. That is ready to go. All we have to do now is fry our chips and then we can um, get into it. But like I said, if you don't like chips, you can also serve it with some rice or a crusty bread roll. But let's get our fries on, hey? but then it's time to tuck in. Now doesn't this just look like the perfect beer snack? I mean, look at that beef, the capsicum, the onion, the tomato is refreshing. We've got this decadent sauce that I've separated for the chips, but let's get into it. I have a savoury palette, so I'm gonna pop that in and grab a bit of chilli as well. This is just a bit of muddled chilies with soy sauce. Mmm! Some chips. Dunk it like Duncan does, get that sauce. See? <laughs> Someone cracked me a beer. Wow, wait, that is that is delicious. That's rich. It's umami. It's mmm, mmm. <laughs> the beef is so juicy. There's a an explosion of tarred, smoky flavour. Chased with the french fry. It just absorbs all the flavour that's in your mouth. Along with that sauce, of course. It's just, it's, it, <laughs> it's the perfect bite. So if you love steak, and you love little chippies and 
fried things like this, you have to give this recipe a whirl. Grab yourself a beer, grab yourself a case of beer, experience Dong Yao, Vietnamese beer culture. Go on, you know what to do. <laughs> do yourself a favour for flavour. <laughs>